The Bremen Town Musicians. Once upon a time, there was an old donkey who lived on a farm. He was too old to work now, but he loved to sing and used all of his free time to make up songs. <laughs> oh, the roosters are in the chicken pen. <laughs> One morning, the old donkey overheard the farmer and his wife talking about him. That donkey is really getting old. I think we should sell him. You're right. He isn't much use here. And we could use the money for a new table. Hmm. Hearing this, the donkey realized he couldn't stay any longer. He made up his mind and ran away from the farm that very day. <laughs> As he trotted down the road, the donkey thought about what he would do now. I am free to choose my own way now. I will go to Bremen and become a singer. He came upon an old dog sitting alone by the side of the road. Uh -huh. mm. Hey, are you all right? Why are you so sad? Uh, my master has thrown me out. He thinks I am too old to be a guard dog. Well, don't despair. Come with me to Bremen. Bremen? That's right. We will form our own troupe and sing together. Uh. <laughs> the dog liked the idea and joined the donkey on his way to Bremen. Soon they became good friends and sang together. The cow in the barn goes moo moo. The cow in the barn goes moo moo. Singing as they walked along, they met a rooster and a cat. Where are you two headed? What are you doing here? My master was cruel to me, so I had to run away from home. Hmm, me too. Uh, we were just deciding where we should go, cock-a-doodle-doo. Excellent! Come with us, then! But where are you going? Huh? We are off to Bremen! And so the four of them set off for Bremen singing together. By nightfall, they were almost in Bremen, but needed somewhere to stop for the night. They saw a house with lights in the windows. Coming closer, they heard raised voices. Oh. Oh, I can feel a delicious smell from inside. Oh, I am so hungry. Maybe we could ask them for some food, hmm? No. 
Wait here. Let me take a look first. Okay? Okay. Uh -huh. The donkey looked through the window and was surprised by what he saw. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. We are rich now. You've done well today. Eat as much as you like. Uh, thank you, boss. Dig in. <laughs> the house actually served as headquarters for a band of thieves. <laughs> the animals talked the situation over and came up with a plan. Draping themselves in a white sheet, they climbed one on top of another and stood outside the door making lots of noise. The thieves were frightened and confused. <laughs> What's all that racket? Uh, maybe it's a ghost. What nonsense! There are no ghosts here! In fact, the boss wasn't so sure himself. You get out there and take a look! Uh, me? <laughs> Just at that instant, the animals burst into the house, still wrapped in their white sheet. And continued making noise. <laughs> it's a monster! It's a ghost! Yikes! Let's get out of this place! <laughs> the thieves rushed out of the house. As soon as the thieves cleared out, the animals removed their sheet and shared a good laugh. <laughs> That was so easy! Let's have a feast to celebrate! <laughs> a brilliant idea! This house belongs to us now! <laughs> oh, let's go! I'm starving! Mm, meow. The animals were used to eating the scraps their masters left in the barn or on the floor for them. Now, they could have anything they wanted and joyfully bit into all the delicious food. After enjoying a hearty meal, the animals settled down to sleep. The cat volunteered for guard duty, nervous that the thieves could come back unexpectedly. <laughs> Go to sleep and don't worry. I'm not used to sleeping at night in any case. Comfortable and content, the animals went to sleep. <sighs> In the meantime, the thieves gathered together in a nearby forest to discuss what had happened. I smell something fishy going on! Yes, I was thinking the same, boss. But what is it? I think the ghost was too white or something. That's nothing! I think I heard animal voices. Oh, I think I did too. Hey, go back and take a look. There is definitely something very odd about this. We will stay here and cover for you, and you come back with a report. Uh, what, me? Uh, yes, you! Stop being a coward and do as I say! The henchman lit a torch and began to creep up to the house. Suddenly, a gust of wind extinguished his light. Uh, 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 oh no! Now what? If I turn back, uh, then the boss will be angry with me. Uh, I have to go on and see what's happening at the house. 
Slowly, he snuck into the house. Squinting through the darkness, all he could see was a pair of bright red lights. <laughs> it's a monster! He was too scared to realize that he was only seeing the eyes of the animal shining in the dark. He tried to back out, but the animals all rushed straight at him. <laughs> oh, my leg! Help! Help! <laughs> the donkey kicked hard at the thief with his strong hind legs and sent him flying. The thief screamed as he flew through the air. Wow, this is really, really uncomfortable. <laughs> After that night, the thieves never came near that house again. The animals took it for their own and called themselves the Bremen Town Musicians. They all lived happily ever after. I am a dog bow wow. The Blue Bird. The Three Little Pigs. Daddy Long Legs. Gulliver's Travels. Donkey Skin. Peter Pan. Anne of Green Gables. <laughs> <laughs>